In this video, I would like to explain about past continuous tense. Structure is subject plus was, were plus v4 plus object. v4 is equal to v1 plus inform also. If you see the definition, to express an action at some time, from some specific time in the past. Once again, to express an action going on at some specific time in the past. If you see the example, I was talking to my friend at 6 pm last evening. What you are doing or what did you do last evening yesterday? So, at that time, I was talking to my friend at 6 pm last evening. So, already here, the action is in the form of the going on. That means, an action going on. It is in the form of the continuous. At some specific time in the past. Already the action was started. And it is going on at some specific time in the past tense. So, that type of actions we have to explain in simple past tense. If you see the another example, I was having dinner at 8 pm last night. What did you do last night at 8 o'clock? At 8 o'clock, actually, I was having dinner at 8 pm last night. My sister was writing an exam at 10 am yesterday. What your sister do yesterday at 10 am? At 10 am, my sister was writing an exam at 10 am yesterday. So all these examples are explaining about the action was going on at some specific time in the past. So this is about the uh, past continuous tense. If you see another one, another usage of the past continuous tense. Past continuous and simple past are used together when a new action happened in the middle of the longer action. So in this one, simple past is used for new action. One is past continuous action. Another one is simple past action. This simple past action is used for to create new sentences or new actions. If you see a few examples. While I was crossing the road, I met with an accident. While I was crossing the road, while I was crossing the road, I met with an accident. If you see the structure here, while I was crossing the road is past continuous tense. I subject was helping verb crossing. Main verb to be for the road is subject. If you see this one, I met with an accident. I met with an accident is simple past tense. I subject met way to remaining sentence is object. To combine these two, these two sentences, we use while. So we can use as a connecting word, linkers and a conjunction word also. While I was crossing the road, I met with an accident. If you want to use any connecting words before the sentences, then after completing the sentences like a past continuous tense, you have to use comma and next you, have, you can go for the simple past tense. Next example. He was reading a novel when I saw him. He was reading a novel. It is past continuous tense. What he is doing? He was reading a novel. The action was started in the past and it is going on at some specific time when I saw him. So in these sentences we used when after the past continuous tense. Then we use the simple past tense. I saw him. I saw him is a simple past tense. He was reading a novel.
when when i saw him when i saw him what he is doing he is reading a novel or he was reading a novel we were playing cricket when my friend came we were playing cricket past continuous tense we subject were helping verb play main verb we for cricket is a object when is a connecting word or linker or combined word or conjunction word my friend came my friend came is a simple past tense so these three examples are explained in these three examples two structures are there one is past continuous structure another one is simple past two structures are there past continuous and simple past we combine with while and a when if we want to use when before the past continuous tense or before the starting of the sentences after one sentences we have to use comma and remaining sentences we have to write if you want to use middle no need to use comma okay this is about the past continuous tense if you see time frames when why at 9 o'clock yesterday at 6 o'clock last evening so most probably in a past continuous tense so if you are going to see when and why in a given sentences then you can identify very easily that these sentences are belongs to past continuous tense why i was explaining english grammar my students came while i was explaining english grammar my students came to my class or while i was i was explaining grammar while my students came to class so in this way we can use when and a while and if you see these words in a given sentences you can identify very easily uh, these sentences are belongs to past continuous tense if you see the structures first one subject plus was were plus v for plus object it is a positive structure and the second one is negative structure subject plus wasn't weren't plus v for plus object and next one is the interrogative positive structure was were plus subject plus v for plus object interrogative positive structure next one is interrogative negative structure wasn't weren't subject plus v for plus object these are the four structures we can use in a past continuous tense if you see the example i was crossing the road she was reading the newspaper next example i wasn't crossing the road negative sentences i wasn't crossing the road i wasn't reading the newspaper i wasn't talking to my friend i wasn't eating the food all these are negative sentences was i crossing the road it is a interrogative positive structure was i crossing the road was i talking rubbish to you was i eating fruits in the class was i looking outside of the class was i laughing at you was i thinking something was i going to market was i sleeping in the class all these examples are interrogative positive next one wasn't i crossing the road wasn't i crossing the road wasn't i sleeping in the class 
Wasn't I eating the fruits? Wasn't I going outside? Wasn't I looking outside of the class? So all these examples are talking about interrogative negative sentences. So these are the possible possibility sentences in a past continuous tenses. Two are very very important. First one is action is going on at some specific time in the past. Action started and it is going on at some specific time in the past. Like I was explaining English grammar. Next one is we have to add while and the when with the help of simple past also. Both are there. Past continuous is there and the simple past also. Okay? And by this one we completed past continuous 